water's measured at the Ottawa Bridge. And so, like, the New Mexico Safety Association doesn't want anything to happen that will allow any water transfers over the Ottawa gauge because that will allow the drainage of all of the acequia water in the north to go to Albuquerque. So the Amet settlement is supposed to be above the Ottawa. Ottawa. So that's just a really important fact that, that bears into this conversation. The other thing is, is that the devastation from the Los Conchas fire in Santa Clara Canyon is going to create situations where um, the flows, what's going to be coming down through those canyons will have an impact further down. There's boulders as large as cars, trucks coming down. There's ponderosa trees that are huge that are coming down. We can anticipate that there could be dam situations um, either in the canyon or in the river that will back up. That's a concern that we had after the Cerro Grande fire in Los Alamos Canyon. That, And when we go up to the ski basin and you look down and you see the number of toothpick trees basically are up there, you could see that there could be a possibility of these dams forming in these canyons causing contamination that wouldn't normally be exposed to be exposed and be pushed down. So there's a lot of different possibilities in all of this that I just want to share that have not been included. And while I've been working on this for a long time, I'm not an engineer, and I so, am so grateful for Mark's work on this because it brings another level of the discussion forward. And if any of you have this expertise and you want to, or a different expertise and you'd like to bring it forward, please do so. Thanks. Next row. <clears throat> oh, thanks. Was it going down? Yeah. yeah. Right there. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I might as well see who the recipients are here instead of looking at the back of my head. Uh, I've read the 312 page report, and as far as the steady state stuff goes, what's in the river now kind of thing, leaving out the flood things, uh, it doesn't say that there's no risk. What it says is that the risk that there is is below the levels for acceptable water as set by various standards. Um, I'm kind of sensitive to this stuff because I've been a professional engineer in three states over the years. And Read that sentence right there. Yeah, you say that. It doesn't say that. This is the risk analysis. I got this thing here. All kinds been, of quotes. I've been told I'm full of it so many times. What for you? Let's finish and then I'll do it. We'll run this. I mean, I can give you <laughs> all, all sorts of references, quotes from the report, which I have some excer excerpts from here. And they all say that the, if, not, if, if you don't have a big storm, the water from the river, if you drink the water from the river straight out, you'll be below, for your lifetime, you'll be below the levels that are acceptable under federal standards for those things. That's number one. Do you have a question? No, I'm making a statement. Uh, secondly, uh, Rick says there's a chance of no water. Well, if you turn off the water, then you know, there's a chance of no water. That's true. But you have to, if you're saying there's a risk, regardless of what the number is, it has to be balanced against the risk of not doing the thing you're talking about in the first place. In this case, not having roughly 5,000 acre feet a year of water available for his drinking water in Santa Fe. That's a real risk. So you have to judge, and it's a judgment, whether you'll accept a small risk of the storm thing from Los Alamos kind of stuff and the 
purification valves not turning off against the sure thing risk of we won't have any water. Not any water because we still have the reservoirs and the wells, but what that component. What's, what's yeah, your name? The what's your name, sir? So I think we should do questions first, and then maybe we could give you another slot at Can you say your name, you sir? Come and speak. I'm not asking a question. I'm making a statement. No, I am not. I kind of disagree with this question. Your question, 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 question is. Up your statement. What's your name? Okay, also, I would observe to you that tritium is formed in rainwater. It has nothing to do with Los Alamos. I don't know what the data uh, is. What's your name, sir? But you're going to have red tritium in water. And the, there's a laboratory at Los Alamos that analyzes tritium, as Rick said. Okay. No question of that. Can you state your name so, for the record? You're dead. My name is Bill Loeb. I live here in Santa Fe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can we so, have questions, please? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, can I really. respond? Yeah, sure. you can okay. respond to that. So I would like to respond to the claim that Lanel doesn't do tritium work. What's that? In that Lanel does not do work with tritium. In fact, they do um, in Los Alamos Canyon. There were findings of 28,000 picocuries per liter. The standard is 20,000 picocuries per liter for drinking water. In Area G, they found um, levels at 860,000. Pico curies per liter at Area G. So this is just an example of um, some of the misinformation that's available um, about what's happening at the laboratory. And it's really important um, for people to be able to see um, the facts about what's happening at the laboratory and the amount of contamination. I'd like to go on the tour. Okay. I'll just say quickly in regard to the risk of not having water when your best option is to drink out of a polluted river. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry for that. And in terms of the no risk language, I've been told this so many times. There's a draft summary report and there's a full report. And the full report has an executive summary too. In the draft report and in the final report, in the summary and in the body, the statement says, and I'll read it directly, there is no health risk to Santa Fe. Okay, and that language appears directly in the newspaper, and when you print language like that, and you print it in the paper, it's a deception. I don't care if what they meant was something other than what they said, it's a deception. <clears throat> you better select. <laughs> I, I'll try and collect. Um, Justin, let's get you real quick, and then we'll keep working back. My name is Jeff. Uh, is it true that there's a disparity in... Here's your picture. Thanks. Is it true there's a disparity in Santa Fe in terms of who's drinking the water from the Buckman Diversion Project? I heard someone say that that's going to the, the south side. Is that true? Oh. It's an interesting question. Um, I didn't bring up the number. Somewhere between 50 and 66% of your water now comes from the Buckman currently. I think we're using 6 to 7.5 or 6.5 to 7 million gallons a day. And something like four, three and a half to four of it comes from the bucket. Does that go into the whole system? Or well, is it... the, the two pipes join in some way, and there's some mixing, whether or not you can so. actually trace which water is which. Now, there is one area that actually breaks off ahead of time and brings water directly, and I think it's uh, to Las Campanas. I think the golf course gets straight Buckman water. A couple of people I know laugh about the justice that that might provide. But, sorry. <laughs> But for the most part, it's mixed, and I'm not sure how you determine which comes out of what, what tap. Okay. This row? This row? Go Judith and Deja. Thank you, Mark. I'll, I'll pose this as a statement, but as a question that comes from the statement. Um, before I got involved with the Buckman, uh, I had investigated the judicial district here, and I want to make this as a statement and see if you agree with it. I believe that Santa Fe is Lionel's Company town, and this is a mafia system. And it's good if we start to look at it that way. It's that kind of politics. You are being defrauded, my friends, in every respect to the health of your water. Who disagrees with that? <laughs> I see one hand. Two hands. Oh well. And, uh, thank you. They're, they're too intelligent. Yeah. 